Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for being here today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Today we got some Uriah Heep um, on the horizon and this was picked by Bird in Hand. Thank you so much for sponsoring the video and also choosing the song. Um, so as you guys know, I do have a, uh, a history, well not like a history, but um, I pretty much was um exposed to Uriah he pretty young you know when I was I was into Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and then uh I got into the Moody Blues and it was always kind of like with those uh bands like Moody Blues Uriah Heep it was very limited because the only uh, CDs we could get our hands on in Mexico were like the best of you know and um for some reason they did have everything by you know, uh, Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin, I guess, because I guess they're more famous. And, um, although I don't really know, you know, it could be, I don't know, maybe just in Mexico, but we did have the best of, um, Uriah Heep and my mom got me into that. And I was super surprised how heavy it was for the time, you know, and that she would be into that as, as well. So she also showed me like, uh, Iron Butterfly and stuff like that. So I remember I have like, I have the, the CD, um, well, or the album right here in front of me, uh, called The Best of Yara Heap. So it was Gypsy. And I didn't really listen to it too much. I was just into other bands, you know. Uh, and it, But I did love Gypsy and The Wizard on that album. And I think Easy Living, I think that was the, the opening track. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, it just had like, it, it, I wasn't into that 70s sound. Um, when it went when it came to heavy metal i was into the 60s and 70s sound of pink uh pink floyd and uh and led zeppelin but for some reason uriah heap was i don't know too heavy you know even though i was in, into heavy metal it was just a weird thing you know i just like some of the songs just didn't you know didn't uh i don't know they didn't do it for me back in the day but yeah this was before this whole channel and you know now i have a better appreciation but i loved gypsy and the wizard and i even i used to play the wizard all the time on the guitar and uh, it's surprising how short these <laughs> these tracks are but yeah this came out um uh in 76 the best of so imagine so yeah so um just a little bit of a backstory um that uh my mom got me into them but yeah today we're gonna get into some um let's see into 1971, Look at Yourself. I've done some reactions to this album, Uriah Heep. And we're going to do the track called, I think, um, it's one of the longer ones on the album. Let's see, 8 minutes and 41 seconds. But there's some 9-minute ones, 10-minute ones, 11 minutes. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so this is the expanded version. This is um, 24 songs. Okay. So yeah, I was like, wow, there's a lot of <laughs> songs on this album and long songs. But no, we're going to do um, Shadow of Grief. And uh, again, thank you so much, Bird in Hand, for choosing this song. And it was either this one or something by Genesis. And I was like, hey, we've done like a lot of Genesis lately. Let's do some Uriah Heep. And um, yeah, so I'm super excited to do this. So let's get into it. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here, everyone. If you're new to the channel, uh, check it out. If you like it, you know, subscribe. Um, and if you like the video, give it a like, give it a dislike, you know, engage with it, maybe leave a comment, whatever you'd like. And, uh, let's go, let's get into it. All right, here we go. So, um, uh, here is the song Shadow of Grief. Let's see how heavy it, it goes. Or maybe not. Maybe it's more acoustic. I don't know. Let's get into it. Here we go. Yeah. 
very cool lake here. Um. Okay, we're gonna go get back to it. This is obviously a, like a more like a deep cut. If my mom would have played me this kind of Uriah Heep. It would have been totally different story. Um, I don't know because of on the best of obviously there's all these radio hits and all these very successful songs. There's not that this this is something like I'm sure like, I don't know, maybe Iron Maiden could have listened to and be like, oh, let's take some notes. You know, it sounds very. Like this whole like. You know, like um, and then that lick at the beginning, it's it almost sounds like a chromatic lick. Um, I was about to like, you know, get a guitar and try it out. But um, this is awesome. It sounds like it reminds me a little bit of songs like Transylvania, Phantom of the Upper from I Iron Maiden's first album. I'm sure they were inspired by these people, you know, by Uriah Heep. And it's heavy. It sounds like demonic. It sounds dark. That's what I love about Black Sabbath. You know, their early stuff just sounds like straight out of hell. You know, it's really cool. And I guess that's why a lot of people were scared of the music. It just sounds, you know, just dark. And uh, I love it, you know, really cool. Like the song is really good. It would have been really a different story if I met if my mom would have had this album instead of the best of. I would have been instantly like a bigger fan. And uh, but I didn't know, you know, it's just like 
It's like with the Modi blues, you know, I loved what I heard, but I was like, well, you know, it's good, but it's not as good as Pink Floyd or the stuff that I was listening to. And um, yeah, but man, I love how heavy this, uh, this is. Let's go back a little bit. Like heavy, but proggy. And I think the church organ kind of freaked me out, you know? I wasn't used to that. Wow, it's 
super epic. Um, let me just get uh, one thing here. figure it out. It's absolutely demonic. Like. But yeah, I remember doing a uh, dropping it down to. Okay, now I have it out of my system. This was amazing, this track, and um, I loved it. Um, what, I mean, what can you say? These guys were on a already on a different level in 71, you know, playing this kind of... Pretty much, yeah, I don't know why they get more, get more credit for, you know, coming up with the heavy metal genre. I think they were it proudly, you know, like there's bands that don't... Uh, you know, like to be called heavy metal, like Led Zeppelin, they refuse to be, you know, part of that, even though obviously they contributed with their sound to the genre. But I guess Led Zeppelin is more like a overdriven blues, you know, experience. I don't know. But yeah, um, Deep Purple, of course, you know, Black Sabbath, they, they're fine with that label because, I mean, I think I would be proud to invent an entire genre of music that's still going on but yeah the, i mean their vocals on this were just ridiculous like everything and it was a chromatic scale as you could see this doom 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 you know um so um very very a lot of fun thank you so so much bird in hand and uh, i had to whip out the guitar here and play some stuff but um this was awesome thank you so so much this was a great the drumming on this was crazy the vocals the harmony the harmonies you know with the vocals at, at that pitch you know at that you know falsetto stuff and just great great um uh song thank you so much for for requesting this i hope you have a lot of fun if you like the video please again like i said give it a like uh, or a dislike whatever you makes you happy uh, but be sure if you like the content to subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you everyone. I'll see you in the next video.